Hey lovers, it's Nyla, Bombshells with Nyla. And uh, so guys, today I am going to do a review on something I bought for my mom. But um, it's a very good curling iron. So, and I've never had one before, so I thought I'd do a review on the curling iron and uh, talk about a few things too. So, if you want to see how to style your hair in big curls with the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Curling Iron, it looks just like this. Then come back in like two seconds, guys. Mwah. Thanks for tuning in. Love you. Hey guys, I'm back. I feel like my eyes bug out because of that ring light behind my camera, but whatever. So, okay guys, so I'm back and I'm going to do a review on the Nano Titanium Babyliss Pro. Um, I think it's 1.25, one and a quarter inch uh, barrel. It looks like this with this little kind of baby blue handle. Um, and, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna try it out today. So I added a few extensions to uh, give it more of a dramatic look. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna get started right away. So thankfully I have my clips down here, but what, so I've already put my extensions in and I'm just going to um, kind of let slowly, just trying to look in that, I should look in here, slowly uh, separate my sections. So I'm just gonna clip that up. And so guys, today, we are going to talk about bullying. Oh, you bullies. What in the hell is wrong with you? So parents, any parents out there that want to take a, a listen here would be great. So, but before we start, I'm going to start doing uh, one curl. So, okay because we're not gonna forget about this part of my uh, video. So I'm gonna take a section and I'm just gonna smooth it out. Looking in my mirror, you guys. And I'm gonna take, oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't turn it on. So we'll be right back. Okay, my loves. Sorry about that. Forgot to turn the curling iron on and I just, <laughs> I also want to tell you that it's uh, got settings and of course I'm blind and I don't have reading glasses. So um, I think it says it goes up to like 350 or let's just look. The highest is, hmm, it doesn't say. Nano titanium barrel turbo heat boost temperature, sole gel technology, but I don't know how hot it gets, but I could bet uh, probably about 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 225 Celsius. Okay, so um, excuse me if I'm wrong. But so anyway, here we are. I'm going to take a, a piece of my hair and my fake hair. And we're just going to do some ringlets. So I'm going to, I always like to smooth. It gets so hot though, but wow. Um, and then I'm just going to clip it, leave all this end out, roll and move it down. Roll it again, move it down the barrel, roll, roll it again until that end piece is tucked all the way in. Unless I'm doing like uh, beach curls. I don't like those ends sticking out because I think it looks messy. So um, I'm just going to take it all the way in. I'm going to hold it here for like 10 seconds. This thing gets incredibly hot. So um, you don't really have to hold it here long. And boom. There's my curl. Oh, it looks nice. Soft, shiny. And these ha extensions I have in with my own hair. First of all, my hair, um, I didn't wash it today. And um, I was on the hill yesterday, so it was like just a mess. And then these extensions have been sitting in a drawer, are like packed away, and so they're all shite too. 
but I just put them in and because I want to show you like that this curling iron will also smooth out your hair so you don't have to you know you'll see this is like a great curling iron okay so we're gonna do that again roll pull roll oops shit pull roll pull woo -hoo. and roll it back up so yeah guys you know I want to talk about bullying because it is just pathetic what I hear from my nephews what I hear happening in my son's elementary school I mean I don't know what the fuck is wrong with parents that don't teach their kids not to be an incredibly rude human being okay because that's what it is and I don't care what the fuck anyone says that's what it is like listen you could raise a, a super brat you could raise a child that's too totally spoiled but you know what there's a big difference between that and teaching them how to be a nice person so anyway it's like th there was a little girl in sixth grade that just killed herself at my son's school sixth grade okay she's 12 what in the fuck could be so wrong at 12 well I'll tell you what when we were bullied or if you ever were I know I was and I wasn't even young like and I that I consider a lot of shit bullying like anything that makes you feel like shit about yourself is bullying okay so you know there's these kids and they're just threatening to kill themselves like seventh grade eighth grade ninth grade like young kids and like I was gonna say is that when we were bullied we didn't have fucking cyber bullying we didn't have we didn't have to come home to it and then go online and fucking the whole night it's like the entire night and you know kids they stay up on their phones on their iPads on their computers they stay up even when you say go to bed they a lot of them teenagers um, you know sixth graders seventh graders they stay up they want to be on their phones half their lives are on their phones okay it's I mean half of all of our lives are on our phones it's so stupid I know but it's just the way it is now and so yeah it's like these kids are being bullied and then they're being bullied online and so they're never escaping it and then at 12 years old they take their lives it's so fucked up to me so my nephew and I'm not gonna say the names of any schools or kids or anything like that but he comes he, he's really upset and uh, anyway I don't want to talk too much about him but look I'm just gonna curl my hair while we're doing this um, he uh, tells me yeah uh, my friend has had four people friends of hers okay they're in grade 8 okay just to put this into perspective has had four friends in the last couple of years that have committed suicide and I'm like what okay eighth grade okay so not only is the bullying getting worse than when we were like you know what's going on is in these schools they they have teachers that like grew up in our era like I mean I'm in my 40s late 40s okay really late and um, you know when we were growing up it's like we we came home and that was the end of it like if you know and so a lot of the teachers and the principals um, in schools are old school so I'm gonna tell you something they tend to put their blinders on okay they don't fucking care I'm gonna tell you this right now a lot of them don't care I'm not gonna say all the teachers out there don't care but I'm gonna tell you one thing from what I've witnessed it's like this needs to be addressed so much more in school than it is and I don't know why I just put that piece of hair down and it's not being and it's being swept under the rug and you know did you know that if uh, you're if someone at school threatens your kid okay someone at school a little another kid threatens your kid say they're in sixth grade okay and you they will not give you the names of the parents of that kid because it's against the law in this province that I'm in anyway I don't know about the rest of the world but I'm sure it's similar across a lot of school boards 
and if to do that is is assault and um, it's against the law so but then at the same time schools they go oh well you know oh he threatened you well then they say he says she says and then the guys go goes oh well you know what I that's a lie I never said that okay boom what are you gonna do how are you gonna prove it so they have to or they don't have to but they go okay well sweep it under the rug no big deal no big deal when a, a dude in sixth grade uh, threatens to beat the shit out of a girl in sixth grade so she hides in the bathroom calls her mom on the phone that's fucked up so parents everyone tell your kids they can't be doing this ever gotta go I'm gonna take this piece right here lovelies I get angry I know but come on man my son was in kindergarten and there was a kid in his class that was constantly pushing him pushing him like Pow! you know in music class pushing him pushing him backwards my son's not a big kid okay he's tiny <laughs> and so cute but anyway so uh, so I just took this piece and I rolled and I rolled pulled and rolled and I'll show you the next piece before I, I keep talking my son's upstairs he rediscovered his Thomas trucks cuz last week he's like ah every time he looks at Thomas trucks because he thinks he's a big boy so he can't uh, play with them and then today I busted out his, uh, I think it's a Hornby train, and it's like a real train, but it's a Thomas train, and after that he was like, okay, can you go get all my tracks and some of my trains? And so he's up there building a huge train track. It's pretty really cool. Okay, so anyway, this little kid was pushing my son, pushing my son. One day he grabs a snack. All my kid eats is cucumbers. He doesn't eat anything at school. Like, I can't get him to eat at school. Okay, so he eats cucumbers, snacky kind of things, and so he, this kid took his cucumber. So he comes home and he tells me, oh, look at this, you guys. Woohoo! Okay. Did I even, no, I didn't curl this piece. So I'm going to take this piece anywhere that you just, I'm sorry, it's a little haphazard because I think you guys are starting to get my shtick. Anyway, so anyway, nothing was done about it. Um, what they did was they put the kid at the same snack table as my son instead of when I said keep him away from my son they did the exact opposite and said oh well oh, they didn't say anything they didn't even act, they sh actually didn't even tell me sorry that was a hazardous curl right there okay let's do that again so smooth it out you can see my extension lifting turn pull turn Pull, turn, pull, and let's do one more. Just get that little end in. Oh. Sometimes your hair might loosen up over uh, out of the curling iron, but just keep keep it there. It'll stay, okay? I didn't bring any hairspray down here or anything, but I usually don't tend to use hairspray because I don't need to, especially if my hair, like right now, it hasn't been washed for two days. Um, so... I did just take a bath I just didn't wash my hair just so we all know make that clear so um, anyway they didn't do anything so finally um, and then the teacher started being mean to him because I thought I was getting pissed off and I was writing emails and I was like like what the hell what is going on why is this kid still fucking harassing my son and so they um, finally I was like okay bye we're gonna we're going on vacation for a couple weeks so we left because they were taking their time getting him out of that class. I was telling him, okay, well, I just want to move him. I want to get him out of the class. Okay, guys, I'm just, this is the back. So I'm going to do the same thing. And um, took two months. They moved into the, the morning kindergarten class where he had much more fun. He didn't have some little kid, which, yes, they are kids, but... You know kids are mean right you got to teach your kid not to be mean period and um, you know so that was that they uh, he, I had to move him 
So, but now, you know, I hear all these other stories from other parents and from my nephews and it's like, it's scary. I mean, you guys, it could be your kid, man. Like it could be your kid. I don't, I don't hate to say that, but look at, you know what? My brother, he went that way. I was 18 years old. You know what? And for him, like, you know, it wasn't so much of a bullying thing. Like he was 20, but you know what? It's a lifetime of a throw at you. And then you just fucking throw in the towel and that's shouldn't, can't happen. That just can't happen anymore. Like it's happening way too much. And now, I mean, people are filming it, you know, like if that's not a cry, like, I mean, for, for us to like get our heads out of our asses and like do something about this at school and, and really, really, really have huge anti-bullying stuff happening in the schools all the time. I mean, come on. There's teachers that I've seen that act like that too. Like favor the ones, it's just ridiculous. And it's gotta, it's just gotta change. So, I mean, that's what I wanna talk about is today. And uh, look at that. Look at those nice curls. Okay, so now guys, I am going to clip this back in because I can see it. Boop. I don't know if I'm staring at the camera. I'm like out of it. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to take a piece down at the back, clip this back up. So yeah, guys, come on, let's cut the shit. Let's get our kids to be nice. No more bullying. It's killing our kids. They fucking talk about it all the time. That's what the th main threat in junior high and high school is. That people tell their friends. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. Okay? And I have heard kids even younger than junior high school saying that. And some little girl just did. You know? And little girls do all the time. And little boys do. You know? And it's why? Because they get bugged. They get harassed for nothing. Like, fuck off. <sighs> Seriously. Ugh. Thanks. Okay, so guys, here we go. I'm going to do the top section. Okay, and guess what? You guys are lucky. I'm going to fast forward this part. So, but when I get to my bangs, um, I, I'll stop so that you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so mwah, thanks for listening, and I'll be right back. No, I'll be right here. Take my curling iron and smooth it out. Smooth it out. Okay, so it's big hair. It's big Texas hair, you guys. But anyway, it's the extensions, right? It gets a lot of va boom. And it, quite frankly, I love big Texas hair, okay? So, um, yeah, this is it. And this curling iron is amazing. And I'll bet you um, I'll take my extensions out and I'll sleep with it. And when I wake up, my hair will be still curled because this is pretty, pretty deadly. So, um, yeah, this is it, guys. This is the, and I just take my hands, and you can put serum in it, but, uh, you know, I'm about to get my jammies on and watch a movie, so. Um, 
but yeah just finger comb it finger comb it finger comb it and if you don't like any piece of it you just do it again okay it's simple so yeah I'm just gonna do a little bit more over here bring it down a bit and I kind of like it a little bit straighter Let's see how we do that's better I think that once my um, bangs grow out to like a longer level, I will like um, put more curl in it like I do with, like I would with one of these pieces um, because I just, it's better when it's all one length for me. Um, it's getting there. But yeah, guys, this is my hair. I'm gonna turn around in an attempt. I hope there's not pieces that I miss and if there is, I'm just gonna do them right now. Okay, so here, I'm just going to do this one. So yeah, you guys, listen, my whole spiel for today was basically about bullying and how it needs to stop. It's getting really serious and, you know, people don't take it serious enough. Like, there's so much other shit going on in the world, but you know what? We're not even going to have any kids because the bullying needs to fucking stop. Like, it just needs to stop. I don't want my son, he's only in grade one and he already had his first bullying experience in kindergarten. How pathetic is that? That is fucking pathetic, okay? And meanwhile, the, the boards of education, and I won't say which one because where I am, but I might, my next show, because that's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, they don't want to do anything about it. They want to close their eyes to it. And um, it's affecting these children in a bad way. They don't even want to go to school. I mean, I have seen some things online that... I mean, I got right in there, and I said shit, and I probably shouldn't have, but I did, because it, these kids aren't kids anymore. It's nasty. It really is. So, you guys, bullying and the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium one and a quarter inch curling iron. This is awesome, you guys. Like, and I like it because these days there's a lot of wands, which I have one coming by uh, Sultra. And they are a great company, okay? I'm going to tell you the story about Sultra. Is it Sultra or Salta? I think it's Salta. Sultra. It's Sultra, okay? And I, I had the bombshell wand, and it was a one and a half inch, and they're sending me a one inch wand. So I'm going to do a review on that, but I have such a great story about that company. If you're going to buy a wand, I suggest going through them. Um, if anything happens, like seriously, it stopped working after two years they sent me a new one then I mean yeah they probably shouldn't stop working after two years but they're really good wands to have while you have them and so then it just happened again after two years um, and no actually it happened and they sent me a new one and now they're sending me a, uh, a one inch so good company they're, they they um, they do value their customers at least so, okay, you guys, I'm going to turn around because I haven't done that yet. I don't know if it's neat or messy. Let's just see. I can't see. Okay, you guys, makes me want to get, it really does. It makes me want to get extensions again. So, I love it. Um, okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to go get in my jammies. I'm going to go hug and kiss my little boy. And um, I hope someone out there is listening to me because I have so much to say, okay, and nobody to say it to. And that was already, okay, not bad, 23 minutes and 41 seconds. Bombshells with Nyla. Love you. Thanks for tuning in.